Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Now here we have a right angle triangle and there's many situations in real life where you could meet right angle triangles. Like for instance we've got an aircraft here just about to take off. It takes off, climbs a certain height and we could have a right angle triangle in here. Or we could have a tree and we're looking up at the tree and we've got a right angle triangle there. Or we've got a house with a ladder leaning against it. And we could have a right angle triangle between the ladder, the ground and the wall. Or on your desk you might have a desk tidy. For instance a cylinder with some pencils in it. Here's just one pencil just leaning over the edge. But we could have a right angle triangle in this like this one here. Now in questions involving right angle triangles we sometimes use trigonometry to calculate one or more of the lengths of the triangle or to calculate one of these angles. Now when we're doing trigonometry every question we deal with must always have an angle in other than the 90 degrees that we are referring to. Like for instance, suppose we have this triangle. It could be the angle that the aircraft takes off at. Okay, let's suppose it takes off at 20 degrees. Or it could be in the case of our pencil in the cylinder. It could be the angle that the pencil makes with this side of the cylinder. Let's suppose it makes an angle of 40 degrees. Sometimes we might just want to work out an angle in a triangle. So for instance in this question we might want to just work out this angle here which I'll give as the symbol theta. Or maybe with the ladder leaning against the wall we want to work out some sides of the triangle. But we might know this angle here, the angle that the ladder makes with the wall and let's just suppose it's 10 degrees. But in every triangle that we have we've always got an angle that we're going to use other than 90 degrees or an angle that we're going to want to find. In this case theta. So before we can start to use trigonometry what we need to do is name the three sides of a right angle triangle. And one of the sides is always governed by the angle that we have in the triangle whether it be theta or whether it be the numerical angle 20, 10 or 40 degrees or whatever. So suppose we had a triangle like this and this was the angle that we were referring to. Then the side opposite this angle is always called the opposite side. That's this side here. It would be opposite this angle. And we call this then the opposite side. If I was using not this angle but this angle here then this side would be called the opposite side. Now the side that's always opposite the right angle, that would be this side in this particular question, is always called the hypotenuse. And I'd like to think that you've already met that word hypotenuse when you were dealing with Pythagoras' theorem. Now that means we've got one side left in this triangle and that side is always called the adjacent side. So when we have these triangles here we should be able to name the sides. So in each of them we can find the hypotenuse very easily because the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So I'll label the hypotenuse with H. So in this triangle the hypotenuse would be the side opposite the right angle. That would be this one, H. In this triangle is the right angle so the side opposite the right angle would be the hypotenuse there. And with the ladder leaning against the wall the hypotenuse would be the side opposite the right angle that would be the side where the ladder is that we'll call H. And with our pencil leaning out the side of a cylinder here's the right angle 
and the hypotenuse would be part of the length of the pencil, h here. Now for the opposite side, that's opposite the angle that we're always going to be looking at or working with. So in this triangle, if we've got the 20 degrees here and we're going to work with this angle, then the side opposite 20 is this side here. So that would be the opposite side. With the tree problem, if we're working with the angle theta, then the side opposite would be this side, the height of the tree. I'll call that the opposite side O. And with the ladder problem, the opposite side to the angle of 10 degrees will be the distance the ladder is from the base of the house. Oh, there we go. And in the pencil problem, here's our angle of 40 degrees. The side that's opposite is the diameter of the cylinder. So that would be the opposite side. So the final side, the side that's left over, is the adjacent side in each one of these. So just mark that in. And there you have the labelling of any right angle triangle that we would use if we were doing a problem on trigonometry. The sides are always dependent on the angle that you're going to work with, whether it be 20 degrees or theta, 10 degrees or 40 degrees or whatever. Okay, so I hope you've understood that and that brings us to the end of the naming convention for right angle triangles when we're going to use trigonometry.